Hello, today we're going to talk about four ways to increase watch time on YouTube. Before we get started, be sure and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification button as well. And you'll get all my videos as I create them so that you'll stay on top of all these great um, videos that are going to help you build your channel and to build your business. Today's video is especially good for beginner YouTube YouTubers. If your channel is new or you're just starting to grow and you haven't hit that 4,000 hours yet, that's probably why you're watching this because you're like, I want to get monetized. I want those 4,000 hours. I want to point something out to you before we start talking about the four ways to increase your watch time. You're probably watching your watch time. You're trying to get that 4,000 hours. So that's what you're focusing on. You have to be careful though. Some people, um, I know some people will buy watch time. And a lot of times if you're buying like a thousand minutes or something, you're just getting a thousand people to come in and watch it for a minute. And what it's going to do, it's going to cause your average view duration or your average watch time to go down. This is important too. YouTube wants to see how long are people sticking around and watching your video. So it's kind of like a oxymoron. You're over here trying to get the time, but then over here, you want to make sure people are staying on your video. So I, I highly recommend that you just concentrate on putting out really good videos that are answering people's questions and you get people to stick around and that's going to help both your watch time and your average watch time. So I just wanted to point that out because I know in the beginning I was not aware of this. Where do you find your watch time? Go into your YouTube channel and then go under analytics. You can go into the new beta feature or the classic. Both of them have a list. And what I love about the analytics, it's going to, you can go in and just search it for the last 28 days. You can search it for the past year. If you're striving to get that 4,000 hours, then you want to keep watching the last 12 months. You have to consistently um, have that 4,000 hours of watch time in a 12 month period. But if you select any one of your videos, then you're going to get more details and more analytics on that. I like how they um, put in order which videos that people are watching, where are they spending the most time? So you can see here, um, the impressions, the, um, click through rate and views. And over here is the average view duration and then the watch time and it's number one. So that one is getting the most. So the reason you want to look at this besides looking at the watch time, I'm looking at this, I see Hootsuite versus Buffer. That's something I think I've got close to 8,000 views in the last year. That obviously is something people are searching for. It's probably not a highly competitive area. So that's why my small channel is getting viewed and actually it comes up on the first page when you do a search. I might want to make more videos in that little niche there and, and try to get my, um, get myself to rank higher in those areas. And so that's another thing you want to look at as well. All right. So four tips, how do you get more watch time? One way, which I have done in the last three or four months is creating playlists. Now, when I first started my channel, I kept throwing things into playlists, but I wasn't, um, focused on it or I wasn't systematic about it. I was just kind of coming up with the names and throwing them in. Cause you know, in the beginning, some people, <laughs> they're just trying to learn how to do the videos, what kind of niche and stuff like that. Well, as I kept creating, I started understanding playlists better and think about it. If you send a link in a playlist of one of your videos, let's say you post it on Facebook and just share it and somebody goes in to watch it. Well, it's automatically going to start taking them through that playlist. And sometimes people will stand up and walk away and that playlist is going to keep playing. And it's going to keep going to your video one after another, all the way through your playlist. Now you want everything in the playlist to be coherent and to make sense. Um, what I did, I made four playlists about YouTube and each one of these playlists, I cut them up into four areas. And then I made a, an area on my channel underneath the channel, um, page and people will see, oh, I can look at YouTube for beginners, YouTube growth, YouTube mechanics, and then learn everything about TubeBuddy. And they're all four different areas. Um, down here, I just created all my playlists are there. Um, if you want to add a section, you just select down here. Whoops. Sorry about that. Okay, so you're going to go down here where it says select a section and then hit this content drop down arrow and you can make a section with popular um, uploads um, playlist right here your created ones you can make a single playlist just the one playlist will have all of the videos showing 
um, saved playlist, multiples playlist, and post it. You can just choose how you want to do that. And like I said, I did um, this one up here. I said single playlist, and then I can put as many as I want in there and choose them. Um, so, you know, play around with it, make it organized. But when you share the link, share it from the playlist and it's going to help you have more time. And, you know, you can even post it and say, hey, guys, I just made this, you know, playlist about... Um, how to how to start a youtube channel for beginners if, if you're interested i have some videos in there you might be interested and people are interested and they will watch your videos because they're really good and you'll start getting more watch time now another thing that i've done is i will embed a a big guru um one of their videos into my playlist i I kind of go with the 10 to 1 ratio. I do 10 of my videos and then one of theirs. So that will that might take people off your playlist, but it's also going to tell YouTube to connect you to the audience of that other person, if that makes sense. So um, that's why I don't put them in there too often because I want people on my channel, but I also want to be connected to the other one. So I go about 10 videos of me and then one of somebody else. And I, and I, and I spread it out. It's not always the same person. The second tip is to make thumbnails that are catchy. I pretty much use black and red. My favorite color is red and the black seems to go well with it. But one of the things that you want to make sure is to have a good title that when people read the title underneath, now the title of this one is five ways to make money with click funnels. Um, but let's say I, um, I have a lengthy title. And I don't want to put that lengthy title on here. It's, this one's probably at the limit. It's probably too many words. You want to try to stick to about four to five words on your on your thumbnail. And then that title underneath it will, will connect. And everything will just make sense like that. But you want to make sure it's consistent. When somebody clicks it, make sure you are talking about what the title says. A lot of people have tried to scam others and they'll do clickbait just to get someone to click it. And honestly, they might click it, but they're not going to stick around. And get right to your point. I've, I've seen a lot of different opinions about using intros and outros and looking professional and all of that. I am on the, the team, no intro. I think I know when I watch a video, I don't care about all that fancy stuff. I want to, I'm not, I don't look at videos to be entertained. I look at videos because I'm looking for information and I want the person to tell me right away, get to the point, tell me what I'm looking for and we're done. And it doesn't bother me if it's two minutes and I'll stick around for an hour if it's, if it's answering my question. I just watched a video the other day for over 50 some minutes and it was, it was fantastic. I watched it from beginning to end, no fluff. So make sure that thumbnail is attracting people and you are being consistent with your title and that's going to get people to stay and that's going to increase your watch time. The third tip is make sure you take advantage of using the, um, it's right here, cards and end screens. Now a card is something that you can put into your video, like right in the middle. Um, you might say, Hey, you know, you might be talking about something and say, Hey, I've got a video that I made on that. And then the card's going to pop up and you want to start watching your analytics and find out when are people leaving. So maybe people are tending to watch your videos, this particular um, video for maybe nine minutes. And so at nine, maybe at eight and a half minutes, you can throw that card in there. It's kind of like an interrupt, like, oh, this is here. And then they might click that, but at least they're going to keep watching your videos. Now there's also end screens and I'm going to show you what that looks like. Um, at the very end of your video, you can send them. I always send them to a playlist. I always send them at least to one playlist, if not two. And then this little um, logo sends them to my website. Now I can do four different items on here, but in this particular case, I only did three. But again, they can go to a playlist. They can go to um, something about funnels because I just say, I just talked about five ways to make money with click funnels. So now I'm going to offer them the one funnel away challenge and then they can go to my website. And all of that is at the end of the screen. So when people get there, oh, I'm going to go ahead and watch this video. Now, the fourth tip is to use long tail keywords. Keywords are the words that are going to help people come to your channel or come to your video. You're already familiar with that, but long tail keywords are when there's, it's more than two keywords. So here, let's say I put in the word content marketing, content marketing is probably huge. There's a lot of competition, but if I come down here and say content marketing for beginners or content marketing ideas or content marketing examples, the, uh, the amount of people looking for it are, is going to go smaller because I'm getting more detail. It's kind of like narrowing down your niche. Now I use 
TubeBuddy and TubeBuddy will actually has a keyword explorer. So I go, went ahead and put in content marketing. I hit explore and it's going to tell me um, what is its search volume? Um, what's the competition? Uh, what's its optimization strength? So yeah, it's fair, but you know, a lot of people aren't searching for it. And then I can come over here and find some other examples, content marketing for 2019. So this helps me find other tags and it's telling me the most used tags on my video. So that's going to help me too. Once I find that title, that isn't as competitive, but then I can start using some of these keywords down here and they've all got scores on them for them. So that's just one of the features of TubeBuddy. I'm going to go ahead and put a link down there for you. TubeBuddy does so many things. It really makes making, um, using YouTube really easy, to be honest. Um, so just to recap everything, make sure you pay attention and use your playlist, like really be systematic about it um, because it will cause your views to go up. I like when I sat down and I really started paying attention to it, I still have some that I'm not done going through, but I went through, I made sure my thumbnails kind of had a, you know, they kind of match there. Some of them are old and they were in different colors. So I went back in and redid them. I made sure my descriptions were good. My keywords, I updated everything. And then I made sure they fit into really good categories with the playlist. And I, my views per day have probably doubled. Um, not that I was getting thousands, but they did double and they're very consistent now. And I think because of that, um, also make sure your, your thumbnails take the time you know, just play around with it. And if it's not something you enjoy doing, go to Fiverr and hire somebody, outsource it, let somebody else do that. Actually, I've got an outsourcing link right below for you. You're, you're more than welcome to check that out. And again, take advantage of the cards and the in, end screens. You will not be able to use the cards until you're monetized. So once you hit that 4,000 hours, you can start looking more at your analytics in the middle of your video and putting those cards in to help with your, your um, watch time. And then use those long tail keywords. Um, start using bigger keywords. It's, it's kind of like narrowing down your niche and you're getting a smaller audience. And it's just gonna give you more um, skin in the game, if that makes sense, because you're, you're, you, you can't compete against the, the top gurus. I mean, they've got millions of views, you know, millions of subscribers and, you know, they've worked their way to that point, but you don't have to compete with them. You compete with people at your level. So again, give me a thumbs up if this was helpful and don't forget to hit the notification bell um, so that you'll know when I have more videos come out. All right. Thank you. I hope this was helpful for